Hey, welcome back everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are having good luck with your gardening and all your projects. And without further ado, let's get to today's. Oh, looks like I need a haircut. All right, so we got the welder out and we got the Jenny. And we are making a solar panel stand out of steel because those panels, the other day we had a really big windstorm that lasted probably 12 hours. Uh, one of the panels moved a little bit, so I thought I would build a custom solar panel stand. So let's start here at the top. This is going to be the top edge here. It is angled at 30 degrees. Where I'm at in the winter time, I think uh, it's recommended 50 degrees in the winter and 20 in the summer. I could be wrong on that. I'm just taking that off the top of my head right now. Uh, so I split the difference and we're right around 30, 35 degrees. So we got a two inch steel pipe. It is eight feet long and we have a six foot long piece of uh, square tubing. Um, I forget the, uh, the dimensions of it, but it's fairly thick. Yeah, I got a, I got a boo-boo. Anyways, uh, this is where we're going to mount the panels to on this side. Well, we're nowhere near done yet. I just wanted to show some of the progress here uh, before I got too far along. So what we did was we cut this at an angle. We welded a plate on here. Just some, These are all scraps too, by the way. This was actually, the six foot length here is actually three pieces that I welded together. You can barely tell. The seams are here somewhere, I think. The one right there, you can kind of see a little pitting. But we welded the plate on there first, and then we welded the two, the square tubing to the plate. So it's welded all the way down on both sides. And then on the eight foot section, I took a bunch of scraps. These are what was left over after I cut out the brackets for the, for the roof. So I cut that piece up into a bunch of pieces and I welded it to the bottom. Kind of looks like a giant key, like a weird looking key. But the purpose of these is so that I don't have to use concrete. I can bury this in the ground and these wings will keep this from rotating if the wind hits it. So you can see I tacked it here every few inches all the way down on both sides. And then I just got done welding this one on. And then we take, we're taking a fence post, a T post, and I cut the fins off of it and it fits perfectly inside that two inch pipe. So we're going to pound this into that. That way it'll give it extra strength so it won't uh, fold over. Not that the steel tube would fold over. But in the future, I want to be able to add more solar panels to this so it will add more weight. So I'm doing some uh, future proofing. So we're going to pound this in there and that will give it a lot more strength. That way, if uh, cows or something are brushing up against it, it's not going to knock over. Uh, we're probably going to fence it off, too, because I'm, I'm planning on putting it outside the greenhouse area over here ish somewhere. Not too far away from the location right now. But since the, when the panels are on the ground like that, uh, once it gets to around three or four o'clock, the plants and the corner post over there cast a shadow onto the solar panels. So we're going to get those up off the ground and uh, increase the amount of sunlight I can capture with those puppies. But uh, yeah, there's some of the progress. Uh, I'm going to pound this thing back in. I'm going to dig the hole. I'm going to install it in the hole and backfill it. And then we'll film another clip after that to see the results of it. Um, I think we're going to put it around three to four feet in the ground. And that will leave about four feet sticking up. Uh, that way uh, I won't have to stand on a ladder to work on the panels if I'm when I'm wiring them up or adding more panels. Um, they should be able to hold quite a bit of weight, uh, several hundred pounds. The panels weigh like, I don't know, 10, 15 pounds at the most. They're very lightweight, so uh, this is way overkill for what I'm doing, but like I said, I'm future-proofing it so that I can add on to it uh, down the road. And then uh, on the square tubing here, I am also going to weld on plates on both sides, and that way I can fasten the solar panels to those plates rather than just the square tube, because if I mount it to just the square tube, then it's only mounted by one point on either side, and the wind might be able to... Uh, break the panels uh, while it's rotating. So we're going to weld a big plate on there that's about the same size as the panels. That way we can just use some fasteners and then screw that sucker to it and, and not have to worry about the wind or anything like that. 
uh, knocking them over or twisting it or any of that kind of thing. So, uh, ah, I'm taking a break right now too. I'm exhausted. I've been working on this, uh, for several hours now and, uh, uh, it's just it's hot out here. I'm fully clothed. I got long pants on boots got one of my favorite sweaters on Make sure you guys go over to green dream projects and get yourself a nice little sweater little hoodie Also, I'm fighting bees out here, too So I've got uh, my welding helmet on and then I've got my hoodie covering my head So the bees aren't crawling all over the back of my neck. They're not trying to sting me, but they're just uh, they're just curious and they're Driving me bonkers. <laughs> I don't like it when they're touching me and I'm welding. I'm like, ah, what is that? <laughs> so this is a great hoodie. It works really good. Uh, that's all. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, pop those in down below. And as always, keep building and try to be good to each other. Some of us aren't here for very long. And a little bit of kindness will go a long ways. So God bless every single one of you and peace.